Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we have a, a confusing <laughs> looking uh, puzzle here. Um, it's called Confusing Map, and if you had all these arrows pointing in a certain direction, that would be very confusing. Uh, it's by Emily Dehene. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. I have not seen a puzzle by this setter before, too. It's, I think that's like the third or fourth one now uh, that I've recorded in the last couple of days that's a... Uh, a setter I haven't seen. So really love to see that with a bunch of new people coming into this. Well, as far as I know, to me, they're new. So good to see. Anyway, point remains. Let's uh, take a look at this uh, puzzle, see what's going on. So confusing map, Emily de Hene, and we have normal Sudoku rules. So every row, column, and three by three box will contain the digits one through nine once each. And we have arrows. So the digits on the arrow path add to the digit in the circled cell, normal arrow uh, rule sets. So these two digits, whatever they are, will add to this one here. And that's it. So nice pure arrow puzzle. Cool. So uh, don't have much more to say to start this off. Uh, otherwise, uh, do the old hit the like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff and uh, help the channel out. And we'll just get into this puzzle then. So links in the description below. Let's get at it. All right. So first things first, it's going to be some of these large arrows. So I think we can get ourselves moving in the right direction and we can start to get some options removed. So what this guy right here, what's the bare minimum this can be? Well, this could be one, two, and three. Well, that's six, seven, eight, nine. So that's what this is. This is nine. And these are a one, two, three, and these two have to be from one and two. Now, can we do something similar here? Because this guy has actually is reduced now because it can't be one two um phone you were supposed to be silenced go away um so the bare minimum can be actually is one three so we're at four plus five six seven so this is either seven or eight at the moment we might be able to further reduce that depending on what we can do elsewhere like here normally this would be a six seven eight or nine because it's three digits but because we can't use one and two it can't be six or seven so does that tell us anything or do we want to just move on to something else for the moment because we can go through the options on this one so for the eight the only way it could possibly work be a one three four for the nine it can't be one two six so it would have to be one three five or two, three, four, but I don't think we can work out which one of those is which just yet. Now, let's, um, let's gonna start seeing about some bare minimums and some of these other ones because of the one, two, three, and the one, two, like this. I guess the bare minimum here is three, four, so it's seven, eight, nine. The bare minimum here is four, but that can go with the one, so it doesn't really reduce this guy too much. We probably have a very limited um, amount here because these guys are not going to be probably not going to be I'm going to check that in a second here but I would have to say the chances of these being a one and a two are almost nil because we have down here as well we're going to have a one two three minimum which is six I guess we could do Let's put these in one, two, three, and I think we could go up to a four, and this could be a one or a two. So we do get a one, two, three, four quad here. Now, that would say this is a four. Let's just make sure we're absolutely right here. There's no way this thing could have a five on it, right? Because one, two, five, five, six, seven, it's eight already broken. So it has to stay to the one, two, three, and four. So it's either six or seven, which means this is either one or two. Yeah, this is a one, two, three, four, which means the four is here, which means you're not a four. And if you're not a four, and we know we have a four on this thing, these guys add to seven, so this is eight. This is going to be a one. This is going to be the two and the one. This can't be a one. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's all right. Scared myself for a second. Oh, wait, we can repeat digits. Well, no, duh, we can repeat digits. There has to be a one on this thing, right? Because we can... Two, three... Or maybe there doesn't. Five... No, there actually doesn't, because we could do a two, three. 
Oh no, but if we do a 2 3 that breaks this, we're not going to ever be able to do a, a 3 4. So yeah, there does have to be a 1 on this thing. That's kind of curious how that works out. This is, has to be 1, 2, 3, or 4. Make it a 7 or 8. This is a 1 or a 2. I'm just going through ahead again. Make sure I didn't make a mistake here. 1, 2, 3, 4, quad. The 4 has to go on here, which forces the 8. Yeah, that's all correct. Okay. So there is a 1 on this thing, which means there's not 1 here, which means this is. Because again, we can't do 2, 3, because now we're breaking this. We know there's a 4 on this thing, too. So this just... We can go back and just put the options in, but we get a 1, 4, so we're at 5, 6. This has to be 2. There we go. Get through the processes now. Now what about you? Because we're starting to get this guy restricted pretty heavily. Because the bare minimum this can be is a 3, 5. Well, 3, 5 is 8, so you have to be 1 and 9. And this is 3, 5, and this is going to be the 5 and the 3 because we already have the 2, 3 here. Now that should... Keep us moving in the right direction on one of these other guys. Or we can just look over here. I was going to say, oh, that one just broke this thing. No, it doesn't. This is a two, three, four, which means this is nine because we can't put a one on it. Okay, now let's go back to what I was trying to think of here. The bare minimum this thing can be is a six because we had one, two, three, four, and five. Well, the bare minimum this can be is two. And it can't be anything other than that. So this is 6 and 2, and this is 8. Because obviously we can't go up to a 7, because you you'd have to put... Oh, wait a second. Hold on. This could be 6 or 7. Let me pull myself back a little bit here. This is always 2, though. That is accurate. We don't know if this is 8 or 9. Okay. See, we're getting confused here already. That's what the, the map is doing to us. <laughs> so this is either eight or nine. We can't say which one is which yet. Okay, good. What about nines here? This one's a nine. I just looked down here for a second and saw it. None of these are nines, so one of these two will be. Do we have anything else on the nines we can do? Just out of curiosity, like you can't be. But also none of these can be. Eh, just means one of those three. And... One of these is a 9. So it just means one of these two is then. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Hmm. What about you? Okay, You're, we, can, we can figure this out now. Because of the 1, 2, 3 here, this is a 4, 5, and 9, which means this is the 8, which means this is the 2, or the 6, I mean, sorry. Now, we can say this is a 6 by Sudoku and a 7. This has to be restricted fairly heavily. This is a three. Can't be one, two, four, five, six. Can't ever put a seven here because we can't put a one here. So this is three. This is either going to be four or five to add to seven or the eight. Now, do we move over to here, over to here, or how do we want to go about this guy? <clears throat> We can put a 7 here. Let's do that. And we can put an 8, 9 here, which we can just put those in. Let's do that. None of these are 9s, so one of these are. So we get the X-Wing on 9s over here. I think that's the... After we put this guy in, that's the leftovers for the 9. We might want to think about what these can be and what these can be, because we have the majority of this guy. So this is either 7 or 8. And what about these guys and we'll try to correlate back so we've got four five and three this one could be two three four five or six well it can't be six because we can't ever get six plus anything to get here so we get a three four five here is what we're trying to say and this is six okay now can we work this out it could be a four three to the 7. It could be a 5, 3 to the 8. Either way, it has a 3 on it. Just make sure that's absolutely correct. Yeah, it is. Okay. And then we, we just get a bunch of 4 or 5s looking around here at the moment. So we're going to have to work on some of these other uh, 
arrows to see what we can see. This guy here could be a two. Can't be three, four, five, six. So the only other options are seven and eight. It's never going to be eight. And it can never be seven. So this just is two. Because if we were to put, obviously we can't put one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we can put the two, we can't put the rest of them. The seven, if we tried to put a seven on here, we can't put a one here. So we'd have to be able to put a two, but then we put a two, we get a nine. So there's no room for the seven. This is a two. And what's this going to tell us here has to be? I don't know that we can say what that is. We can say this is the seven or eight though, and we can put a one here, and then we can come back to here and say this is either five or six. Alrighty. <clears throat> now this can't be a nine anymore, because this would have to be an eight. So we get our nines done. We'll get rid of these guys. And I don't know if we can do much more on this guy just yet. Yeah, try to run through the numbers on it, but I don't think there's enough here to reduce it in a significant way. So let's just put this in, which is 8. And is there... Man, this isn't really reduced either. We just know we can't put a 1 on it to make the 8. So it still could be 6, 2, or 5, 3. What about you? Uh, we can go to... Yeah, three, four, or five are the only options that'll work on here because we can't use one or two. We can't use six. So we can never get up to a seven because it'd be seven with a three would be the bare minimum. Now, this can't add to nine or eight, though, so it has to be seven, which means this is a three, four. Three, four there. Can we figure out what this digit is? Because it's, well, it's probably just one. Well, maybe not. Could be one. Can't be two, three, four. Can't be five. It could be six. It's always either one or six. Okay. Do we have anything else down here that pushes that? I don't think it is. Okay. Which one of these other arrows do we want to jump onto then? What about you? You have to have a one on you. Otherwise, it's a five, six minimum. That's going to tell us the 4, 1. And this is going to have to be 6, 7, or 8. This one is not the 1, so this one is. So let's just put that in. This will be 5, 6, or 7 to be able to make this work. Uh, the 2, 3, 4, <clears throat> 8. Let's just look at the 8. Where does it go? It goes here which means this is 7, which means these are a 5-6 pair. And that'll give us another 5-6 pair looking this way. Can we... I'm debating if we want to look here or here. Probably here, I guess. Uh, because we have to have a 1 on this thing, again. I wonder if our 1s are just... Maybe they're not quite done, but they're close. Uh, this guy here... Well, I guess there's a lot of things he might be able to be could be one three could be one four so four or five it can't be one five or one six and it's not gonna be one seven so it is just a four or a five there okay these guys have to be from one six and three don't think we have an answer to that one just yet what about this column or row that's a row, not a column. And where does the other 7, 8 go? It doesn't go here. So it goes here, and we know it's a 7. So this is 7. This is 8. That forces this to be the 7, which means this is the 4 and 5. That's going to give us this 5, 4. Good. Now this one here is a given 5, which is going to tell us the 6 and the 5 and the 6 and the 8. Does that come back down here yet? Not quite. So we're, oh, this can't be a, f a 5 anymore, so it is 4, which means this is the 1, 3, which means this is the 4. Good. It's moving quite well. I like 
the flow of this one. This is seven. Nothing to uh, cause us too much heartache at the moment. What about you? Or do we want to look up and down? I think we want to, I want to try to stay on these clues for a second. We know we have a one on this thing to go with something else to get us this digit. We can't go nine, eight, or seven here. So we're looking at six, five, four are the only options and it can't be four because of the three. So this is just a four or five. So we get another four or five pair, good. That forces this to be the six, which means this is the five, this is the four, this is the seven. Perfect. And what about these two? Eight and two, looks like. And let's see, what's this one? This is three, these are four and five. We can do that, so let's do it. This is either two or three, and it can't be three. So two, three, two. What are you, six? This becomes the one, which forces the three and the one. Now we can probably slide some of these other ones in, but let's do this because this is gonna tell us what the rest of it is. We can put all these digits in. It doesn't necessarily tell us what's what, but what are you? Three, four, oh, not four. Could be five. Actually, it can't be three because we'd have to put a five here. So it's not one, two, three can't be four, could be five or six. Can't be seven, because we can never put a one here. So this has to either be a, a two or a three, so we get a two, three pair. It's nice how those, each one of these guys seems to be putting into a pair. So what are these guys then? They are seven and four. We can do that, four, seven. Uh, these guys are two, three, five, and six, really. And I don't. Oh, this one can't be the two or the three. So this is the five, six. This is the two, three, which forces the four and the three. Now, how do we want to resolve these? Where are you? You're just given, so that should help us. One, two, six, I think it is. Yep, yeah, six. What are these guys? Five and eight. Eight, we can do that. Five, eight, that's going to give us the six and the five and force the three and the two. And then two and three. Cool. Very good. Fun puzzle. Um, certainly approachable. Uh, didn't take any massive um, knowledge or logic, but just had to go through each one, see how things work and put them all together. I think it worked really well. So I really enjoyed that puzzle. Uh, hope you did as well. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. See you later.